Welcome back to the channel. This is the new office. I just moved locations with my family into uh, a new job and a new role and a new chapter of, of our lives and it's pretty exciting. So I want to continue to talk about, you know, really the products I love on YouTube. So I'll be doing that. It's been a while since I've uploaded. Obviously I've got a very small channel right now and uh, we'll see what happens and hopefully we'll see it grow from here. But today, what I want to do is talk about another phone case, something that has been on my phone now for about six weeks and it keeps on finding itself back onto my phone. I want to tell you what I love about the Rhino Shield Solid Suit Microfiber Case. So we're going to talk about that today. You know, and I just want to say what I hope to do with this video and with other videos like this is really just give you an in-depth um, understanding of my take on phone cases, on technology, on products, um, what I'm really kind of looking for in those types of products. It's not, uh, you know, a, a review where we're just going to go over the specs and we're going to talk about, you know, just cursory things about these different products. What I want to tell, tell you about really is my personal opinion, what I'm looking for, what I like about this, you know, what if you're considering buying a case like this, you should maybe think about before you do, um, just so you can have, hopefully, uh, the best um, understanding of a product that you're looking to purchase um, to help you make that buying decision. So uh, I spent a lot of time on YouTube looking for videos like this, looking for videos where people dive into different phone cases so I can kind of make my best guess on, is this, a, is this something I'm gonna like when I buy it? You know, I wanna know that hopefully before I buy because I'm excited about these things. I don't. I don't have a massive budget to spend on technology or items like phone cases. Um, so I need to make sure that the purchases I do make as much as possible are gonna be the right purchases. So that's what I'm hoping to bring really you guys as we kind of talk about each of these products. So before we kind of dive into the actual case, and we're gonna take an up close look at this here in a second, um, I, do want, I do want to tell you that I love this case, as I mentioned before, super premium feel. I mean, this just feels really good in the hand doesn't get fingerprints on the back, um, has a nice lip around the front, we'll take a closer look at that, nice lip around the camera, um, we'll take a closer look at that, buttons are super clicky, you can actually customize the buttons, you can take these out and put in different colors, and it adds a ton of protection without a lot of bulk. Now there is bulk here, you're going to tell you have a case on your phone, but compared to other cases I've looked at, UAG, some Under Armour cases, this one actually feels fairly thin. Uh, compared to those. So I don't, it doesn't bother me that I have this thick of a case. And, and, you know, my ideal case is no case. So I hate putting cases on my phone, but I also can't afford to drop an iPhone XS Max and, and pay for the replacement screen or the replacement back. So I have to put a case on it. So I try to get as thin as possible. And I would say this, it has not bothered me having this case on this phone, which is, which is huge for what I look for in cases. So what I mentioned before is I want to first look at uh, the difference between Rhino Shield Solid Suit and other Rhino Shield cases, mainly the Rhino Shield Crash Guard and the Rhino Shield Mod Index. So I'm going to pull up the website, take a look at kind of the differences between cases so you kind of understand what you're ordering when you go online. Um, then we're going to kind of do some close up shots on the case so you can kind of see really nice, really good, and you can get a really good close up shot on kind of what uh, the different aspects of the case are. All right, so let's jump into the website. All right, so rhinoshield.io is their website. And when you get here, obviously you have, you know, product list and you can see Mod NX, you can see Solid Suit, you can see Crash Guard, um, Modular Bumper, it's interesting, Crash Guard Bumper Case, Play Proof Protective Case, there's a number of products, but I'm gonna talk about these three. I think these three are the main ones here, the Crash Guard NX, the Mod NX, and the Solid Suit. So let's, let's take a look at Crash Guard NX first. Really what that is, is it is the bumper. So if you wanna rock a bumper on your phone, um, oh, by the way, I realize I've said um like a thousand times in this video, so we're gonna work on that. Let's get started here. If you're going to rock a bumper on your phone, uh, the, 
the Crash Guard NX is the best option for you. It's really cool because you can customize, you see all the colors here. Essentially, it's a two-piece case. So you have the, the actual outer bumper and then you have an inner liner. Uh, they call it a rim, an inner rim that you can change out. So you can do a ton of different color combinations. And that inner rim just kind of serves as a uh, locking mechanism to keep the bumper on your phone. Um, but you can take the buttons out, you can change up the color of the actual bumper itself or the rims. You can see that there's a number of color options you can go to. Um, and, it, and it offers a ton of drop protection. So if you've you know, heard of Rhino Shield or if you watch YouTube and you look at phone cases online, you've probably seen people test dropping, drop testing the uh, Rhino Shield case. Uh, and it, you know, it's just solid in terms of protection. So you don't have to worry about your phone being protected if you have a Rhino Shield case on, which is awesome. The next up is you can take it another level in terms of modular. So Crash Guard NX, now you can put a Mod NX, which is essentially the bumper, which has, you know, the, the frame and the rim and the buttons that can be switched out. But then you can actually put in a back plate. So they have all these different, this is a clear back plate here. Let's see where the, okay, here you go. Here's a good picture here. So they have a number of back plates that you can swap in and out of the case. So if you don't want to leave the back open on your case, you can always go with the Mod NX uh, case, and that has changeable back plates on it. And I think some of these you can actually personalize at this point. My one complaint about the back plates is the ones I've tried are fingerprint magnets because they are slick plastic, so you're going to get fingerprints on them and they're going to stay on them. And it's really hard to keep them clean. But it's a great option. If you want to get super modular with your case, switch out the bumper, switch out the rim, switch out the buttons, change the back plate. Mod NX is, is a great option for you. Now what we're talking about today though is what they call Solid Suit. Now Solid Suit is all one case. Um, I did mention earlier you can change the buttons. So that's the only thing that's modular in this case is just the buttons. But it offers additional protection. So um, if you look on the inside, it has a shock spread kind of technology that goes across the, the rim and the back and it's all kind of put together. So look at this right here. Watch a drop test right here. I mean, it's, you know, people drop these off of staircases, off of roofs, off of balconies and, um, and Rhino Shield, you know, just it works every single time. So you don't have to worry about drop protection. Um, the other thing about Solid Suit is you can actually change, they have a lot of different backs you can your different styles, I would say. You can get kind of some basic, basic styles with different designs on them, but then you can also get some premium kind of back materials is what I would say. And that's where the microfiber falls into that. So um, I'm gonna go right to, let's see if we can pull up the microfiber here. Open this Max, case design. We're gonna see these materials, so wood materials, bamboo, carbon fiber, I'm gonna go over here to the microfiber slash graphite. So a couple things here, touch class, solid suit is our revved up take on the traditional phone case. We precisely molded our signature shock spread material into a one piece shell and added a premium finish to the back. And then microfiber, experience the soft velvety texture of ultrafine microfiber cloth. Our material is scuff resistant, easy to clean, and it's anti peeling surface does not accumulate fuzz over time. This case provides over 11 feet of impact protection. So that's a little bit about the difference between Mod NX, Crash Guard, and Solid Suit. So if you're kind of looking at Rhino Shield, Rhino Shield cases, that's a bit of an overview. Um, so you kind of know what you're looking at when you go to their website. The next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a closer look. I'm gonna pull out the overhead rig. We're gonna kind of jump into um, breaking down this case and all of its different parts. So first things first, yeah, there's a nice lip around both the camera bump and the front of the case. So if you're gonna slam that on down front or back, don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. Um, buttons, super clicky. So we can hear those here. Yeah, super clicky buttons. Plenty of room for the mute rocker to move that back and forth. There's your speaker cutouts, speaker grill cutouts and your power port. So, um, and this power port should work just fine with you know your standard Apple adapter. I will say this, if you have anything extra thick, you know, you might check before you, you order. It could be, I don't know how you're gonna check, but something super thick may not fit in there, but um, every, you know, every cord I've worked with works just fine. So, 
let's just take and here you go you also have a lanyard here is the uh, rhino shield branding for you so let's just take a quick just close-up look around the case One thing I'll, I'll say is, let's see if this is coming through. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the light, but there is a texture, like a very minimal texturing on the plastic on the side, which does add some grip. I can say I've used the Mod NX and the Crash Guard bumper before, and typically those have been really slippery in the hand. And I would say that the little texture in here, this case does not feel slippery in the hand at all compared to those. So. Um, they did a really good job with that. There's the microfiber. So um, how do I describe this? I mean, it just feels like a very thin microfiber cloth. It feels like fabric on the back of your phone. Super smooth. Um, it doesn't get dirty. I've, I've been using this, this case for about six weeks now, and I haven't been too careful with it. You know, obviously I didn't, haven't poured, you know, a, a jar of ketchup on top of it or anything like that, but for the most part, it's, I mean, it's stayed, you know, I just kind of sit it down over I go or go on its back and don't really worry about it. It gets clean. If some dirt gets on there, you just kind of dust it off and you're just fine. Um, I've also, you know, I was also wondering if I'd have any issues with the backing coming off. And I'm having zero issues with any of the backing coming off. So whatever process they used to put this on, whether it was glue, um, whatever it was, they did a good job with it. So no issues there in terms of durability, in my opinion. Now, obviously, if, you know, three months down the road, uh, I have another story to tell, then I'll definitely let you know. I've dropped it a couple times. Um, once getting out of my car, I dropped it in the parking lot. So you can see a couple of scuff marks kind of here in the corner. But other, otherwise, it you know, in terms of wear and tear, it looks pretty much brand new like it did out of the box. So um, there's your close-up look at the Rhino Shield solid suit, microfiber. The last thing I'll say is I do really like the gray color. I think it goes really well with the iPhone and it's not a black case, which I really like. Um, I have a, num a number of cases that are kind of like black, you know, rubber cases. And, you know, this just adds a, I think a color element that doesn't stand out too much, you know, but it does kind of give you a different look on your phone. So I really like the gray kind of color that it has the slate kind of color that it has and it, if you have any questions at all about the case you know let me know down in the comments um, I'd love to answer those for you but that is the close-up of the case there's the round shield brand one more time all right guys so there you go that is the Rhino shield solid suit microfiber case I uh, hope this review helped answer your questions. If you have any additional questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. I will answer every one. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and I'd love a like, you know, if you're willing to ring the bell. So please do that. Anyway, I will say this, it's, it's, it is really gripping the hand. This is a super solid case. Um, great fabric on the back, voids fingerprints. So I definitely highly recommend this case if you're out looking for something a little bit different. All right, thanks guys, appreciate it. See you in the next one, bye.